Your makeup artist friend Cat Sketch here today. We're gonna do a very cute makeup of someone with a little bit of sass and attitude from Hercules. We're gonna do the third makeup in the series of doing Meg. This is definitely gonna be a two-parter makeup. First, we're gonna turn into Meg from Hercules. Is she considered a Disney princess? I think she does personally, but that's just my opinion. And then we are gonna turn into her sinking into the underworld where they turn green where Hades just takes control of them and owns their bodies and souls. And they go in this deep pit of green goo. So we're gonna do her half spilling into the green goo. But first, we're gonna turn into Meg with her sass and attitude, and she's so beautiful. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna put a wig cap on because I do not have the Ariana Grande style of hair that Meg from Hercules does. I would guess that Ariana Grande got her hairstyle from Meg, just my opinion. But before we start, of course, I am wearing clothes. It doesn't look like I'm ever wearing clothes if I do body paintings in these videos, but you can trust I am. And then I'm gonna flatten down my eyebrows because Meg has the craziest eyebrows, probably almost out of any Disney princess. They're almost like a Disney villain, but slapped onto this beautiful girl's face. So I'm just using some glue stick and powder if you guys watch my videos, you know I do this all the time to flatten my eyebrows, make them disappear. I do a layer of glue, then powder. I do about four layers for my brow hair thickness, but you can do as many as you want. And I wait for each layer to completely dry before going on to the next layer. And once our eyebrows are flattened and deleted, I'm gonna put some face oil on to moisturize my face and get it ready as a canvas. And then I'm gonna put my new favorite primer. I use a pore filling primer for this to make my skin oh so smooth and soft. Then I'm gonna go into my favorite color correcting concealer palette. This is from Dermaflage. And I mix their two orange correctors to put them on my eyebrows. Once the orange corrector is on, I'm gonna move on to my absolute favorite foundation for transformation videos and any character videos. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. I use the color Buff Beige with a foundation brush just to buff that into my skin all over my face, around the sockets of my eyes, and down my neck. Once you have a good solid base layer of that foundation on your face, I'm gonna move on to my new favorite concealer. This is a definite favorite new cheap alternative full coverage concealer from Tarte. It is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It is amazing. And I'm going to put that on my eyebrows just to disguise them and hide them and blending out with a damp beauty sponge. Then I am gonna put a heavy amount of translucent powder with a very large powder puff. I'm using RCMA no color powder, of course. I made sure not to put any powder on my under eyes because I'm gonna put some full coverage concealer here as well to cancel out the darkness and hollowness of my eyes from not sleeping and as you can see I put it around my blemishes around my nose anywhere I have redness and I'm blending those out with different damp beauty sponges you can use a full-size one or to get in the cracks and crevices of the face I like to switch over to a smaller one sometimes of the damp beauty sponges to blend out all of that concealer making sure it's melting into the skin for a great canvas. Once you're done with your concealer, it is time to get the powder to finish it off. I love the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Putting that on my under eye to set it and on my nose before priming my eyelids with some more concealer. Then I'm gonna go into my Tarte Graveyard Girl collaboration, the Swamp Queen eyeshadow palette and use the color Man Cat. And I'm putting that with a flat brush all over my eyelids. Not too high up, but then I'm gonna get some Tarte setting spray or whatever makeup setting spray and put that on the shadows to make them super solid, pigmented, and very dark and more of like a full coverage. Then I'm gonna get the eyeshadow again with a fluffy blending brush and blend that into the sockets of my eyes. And I'm also gonna blend it on my bottom lash line as well. Now I'm gonna contour the face using my Morphe 9C contour palette. Unfortunately, they don't sell this anymore and it breaks my sad little heart. I like to get the yellow shade in this and put it on the sockets of my under eyes and the bridge of my nose. And then I get the lightest contour shade with a fluffy brush to contour my cheekbones and not only the sides of my face and forehead, but all over the crown of my head. Then I also use this to contour my nose as well. I'm the type of person, I either do absolutely no contour on my nose or go big and crazy with the contour. And Meg has a very contoured, intensely thin nose, so I am definitely gonna contour my nose this time. And if you feel like the contour's too heavy, just get a yellow tone powder and put that over the powder contour. 
Speaking of yellow tone powder, I'm grabbing that with a damp beauty sponge and chiseling out my cheekbones on the sides of my face to look really emphasized and very contoured and chiseled. Speaking of chiseled, we're gonna chisel our brows together, getting a brow pencil and doing these very thin, very arched, crazy eyebrows. Like I said before, Meg has the craziest eyebrows, so I'm gonna draw brand new ones, switching between my new favorite brow pencil by Revlon, the Color Stay one, and other brow products, and I'm putting some highlighter on my brow bone and I messed it up a little bit. So I'm going back in with the brow pencil and putting some more highlighter from that Tarte Graveyard Girl collaboration palette. It has one of the most beautiful shades of highlights and I put it on my nose, my cupid's bow, just all over my face practically. And I'm using the blush that's in that palette as well. Once you're all contoured, blushed, and everything else, I'm gonna get some black liner and color that skin on the bottom of your eyelid. That feels like you shouldn't put makeup there. That waterline and tight lining my eyes as well with some black eyeliner. With the same black eyeliner, I'm using the TARDIS Pro Double Take Eyeliner. I'm gonna get the felt tip from it and do a crazy thick eyeliner that's very winged out and it's winged also in the inner corner as well. There's a little, you know, point to it. Then I'm gonna get the highlighter with a very tiny brush to highlight my inner corner of my eye of this beauty makeup for Meg. And we're gonna curl our lashes to prepare them for some large lashes with some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. There's so many great drugstore mascaras. I don't believe in buying high-end mascara, just my opinion. And once your top and bottom lashes have mascara on it, I'm gonna get this Laura Mercier matte lipstick pencil. I'm gonna outline my lips with this raisin purple plum color lipstick and I'm bringing out the outer corners almost to a Joker-like smile like Meg has in the cartoon. And once we outline those lips, I am getting this Revlon cushion like lipstick balm thing in this beautiful like raspberry sorbet color and coloring in the lips. Getting a brush to blend the lip line into that lip color. Then I'm getting this Divine Eye Candy False Lash in the style Princess and putting that on my eyelids. And now that we are done painting our beautiful beauty makeup face, I'm gonna paint on her outfit. I got some brown aqua paint and I'm painting these discs on my collarbones. These are like the little pins that hold her dress together. Once the brown circles are on, I'm gonna make sure it's completely dry before getting some gold paint. This is from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. Whatever gold eyeshadow you may have or something like this will work. And putting that over the brown paint. Then I'm gonna dip into my purple aqua paint with a rectangle brush to start painting on the straps of the dress and the rest of the dress where those coin-like circles are gonna connect. Make sure it's super pigmented. You could do one or two layers. And then we're gonna get this purple eyeshadow with a large powder puff and put that on the dress. And then I'm getting this dark brown cream paint with a very thin brush to do the detail outline of the dress. And we're gonna do the detail outline, not only of the dress and its straps, but of those disc circles of the pendants. They have these swirl marks and we're gonna outline it as well. They kind of look like snail shells. And now I'm gonna get some black matte eyeshadow to do some shadowing within the dress on the sides of those pendants. And we're powdering the whole thing down with translucent setting powder. Now it is time to get Meg's wig. I got this beautiful wig off of Amazon. It is one of those anime girl wigs that come in pigtails. So they have two connecting pieces of hair to one large wig. So each pigtail is a separate piece, but for now we're just getting the main piece of it and we're going to tease these bangs and style it to look like Meg's. I'm putting one of the curls and bring it to the front, getting some bobby pins, and then we're gonna take the pigtail pieces of the wig and pin them on top of each other to make it look like one gigantic ponytail. We're gonna take another piece of the hair and we're gonna pull it across to make more bangs and pin it with the bobby pin. You could do more styling and teasing. You might need some hairspray. I feel like I'm doing a craft project for the science fair with this wig. But Meg has one of the most iconic hairstyles and I really need something that's humongous and flowy. So once you think you have the wig situated and looking like Meg's, we are completely done turning into Meg from Hercules in the first part of this video. Meg has so much sass and attitude, but she's so beautiful and she's pretty witty. 
I feel like the movie Hercules has one of those plots where she kind of seems like young and not so bright and you don't really get along with Meg in the beginning of the video or the movie, but later on you start to really have affection towards her and you love her love for Hercules. But stay tuned to the second part of this video where Meg is going to go to the underworld and fall into the pit of that green goo. And to make Meg fall into that pit of green goo, we're gonna get this green cream paint from our Ben Nile Monster Cream Wheel. And we're just gonna start painting that all over our face, or in this case, on half of our face, so it's like she's midway falling into it, but Hercules is trying to save her and pull her out. So with the foundation brush, you wanna make sure you get that not only on the face, but the ears, everywhere that's shown, the skin, like the neck, her chest, her arm. You can even get some green eyeshadow to put it over her outfit, cause her outfit's gonna change color in the green goo a little bit too. You want it to look like a veil or a wash of green over that side of her face. And once you have enough green paint all over her face, and body on that side of her entire body. We're gonna get some brown cream paint with a very tiny brush to start doing some wrinkles. We want Meg to have wrinkles and crow's feet and all that jazz, cause she's getting old because you age when you fall into the green goo, the deeper that you go. So she's having some premature wrinkles right now and we're painting those on. You can paint some wrinkles on the neck too because they always say you could tell a person's age by the wrinkles on their neck and their hands. And I'm not gonna stop there, I'm gonna whiten my hair with some spray, but that didn't work as well. It just beaded up on my wig. So, I got some black matte eyeshadow to darken parts of her outfit more, and some white actual hair color. This is also from Ben Nye. Works really, really well. And you could dampen it with a paper towel and hairspray it in place. Because with that, we are completely done turning into Meg while she's falling into the pits of the underworld. Maybe Hades put her down there and maybe Hercules tried to grab her before she fell even deeper into the underworld in that pit of green goo. I don't know why, that was one of my most favorite parts of the movies, to see the fates in Hades in the underworld. So let me know what you think. Leave me a comment on what other video ideas you guys would love to see in the future, not only effects, but beauty makeups as well. I would love to hear it. Subscribe for more videos like this and more Makeup Mondays as well. I do videos twice a week, Makeup Mondays and Effects Fridays. Every Monday and Friday you will see a new video from me. And now it's time for me to turn back into myself. Thank you guys so much for watching again. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box. If you guys turn to make from this video or any of my videos, if you use them to do makeups on yourself, I would love to see them if you post them on Instagram and tag me, hashtag catsketch. Thank you guys again so much for supporting this channel and tell your friends we're doing more Disney stuff. It's gonna be so creepy, so cool, so awesome. And I love you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.